Hello, Roy City High School, and welcome to another edition of RCTV. I'm Noah Welch. And I'm Kyle Johnson. In this week's episode, we will travel to the Texas State Fair. Take an inside look at this school's new ping pong club. Check out the hottest gossip in this week's edition of RCZ. And see the news go the way of the 21st century with the new online school newspaper. That's all right here, right, right now, on, on RCTV. RCTV. What we do here is go back, 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 back. The students of RCISD get a day off of school to go to the Texas State Fair. So Jared Reardon, Kyle Johnson, and I met some of the students at the fair and asked them what they thought of it. People say the Texas State Fair is the crown jewel of Texas in the fall. So for RCTV, Jared Reardon, Kyle Johnson, and I decided to go check it out and see what all the fuss was about this year. When we first arrived at the State Fair, our mission was to sought out some of our students to ask them what their favorite part of the State Fair was. My favorite part definitely had to be the food. Probably the fried food. Um, I really like being here with my family every year because my whole family has been here every single year of our lives. Probably just walking around, uh, riding some rides, eating food. It's pretty fun. Sweating all day and not getting a single thing to drink is the best thing about this part. We then asked them what their favorite food at the fair was. Uh, all the fried stuff. Anything fried. Uh, probably the fried cookie dough. It was good. My favorite food? Um, I get these tacos every year from like the place that they it's Finally, we asked them their favorite attraction. So far it's been like the UFO. You like spin around and it like cling to the walls. Um, Jack and I go in this bubble house every year. I have bubbles on my hair right now, actually. I don't know the name of it, but I just wrote it, like throws you all up in circles and stuff, and you like want to puke up that fried food. It was interesting. Our personal favorite part of the state fair was meeting Hank the Robot. There are some stuff I want to tell you guys about, but this guy, whoa, this guy, what's his name? Jared. Jared. What's Jared. Up, Jared. No, Jerry. Jerry. No, Carrie. Jerry. 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 No, Jerry. <laughs> You're confusing me, Noah. I'm sorry. That's okay. We asked our very own Noah Welch on what he thought about his first Fletcher's corn dog. How do you feel about eating your first Fletcher's corn dog? Hey, that's pretty good. From the Texas State Fair, this has been Jared Raritan, Noah Welch, and Kyle Johnson signing off. This week, Student Council sponsored a contest to promote cancer awareness. Along with the help of many of the other clubs in the school, they decorated the halls of RCHS. Let's take a look at their hard work. Wow, that was really fun. You know what, I wish we had a ping pong club. Well, you're in luck, because we do now. Here's Brianne Everett and Jacob Breer with the scoop. This year, Roy City High School has created a table tennis club. They meet every Wednesday at 345 in the cafeteria. This club has a goal of competing against other schools with clubs and bringing table tennis into our community. We spoke with some of the leaders on their reasoning for creating the Table Tennis Club and how they can join. I've just had a passion for ping pong ever since I was little. I played uh, Garrett Watson, his older brother Drew, just for a while, and then I decided that this year I wanted to be the president of something, so I was like, I like ping pong. We don't have a club. We start a club. 
I have a love for the game, and ever since I've been able to hold a paddle, I've just wanted to be in a ping pong club, join more people that love the sport as well, and that's why I did it. How you join? We have practice every Wednesday from 3.45 to 4.30, just show up mainly, and we have, we want to play other schools, so then if you're passionate about it and you really want to be a part of it, then we can join a sort of club. Um, well, eventually we're going to play Wiley, Plano, Forney, and we just want to hand out some L's, you know, get another dub for some other sports other than football. We also asked Garrett who he thought was the best player in the club. The team. Allie Turk, by far. She's a stud, A1. She's D1 commit. D1 commit. <laughs> we interviewed one of the girls in the club to ask about all the girls who are involved in table tennis and if they are just as good as the boys. Definitely, definitely. I mean, we're getting there. They've had a lot of practice on us. They have a few years on us, but we'll definitely be there for sure. Come to the meetings every Wednesday. We're always there. Uh, it's fun. Bring a friend, bring your paddle, and come out and have a blast. For RCTV, this has been Brianne Everett and Jacob Barrera. October 24th to 28th is Red Ribbon Week. Make sure to dress out. Monday is Drugs or Tacky Day. Dress like a tacky tourist. Tuesday is Jugs Will Haunt You Day. Make sure to dress up as a ghost or monster. School appropriate, of course. Wednesday is Drugs Aren't a Winning Game Day. Make sure to rep your favorite team by wearing their jersey. Thursday is Electing to be Drug Free. Dress patriotic. And finally, Friday is Red Out Against Drugs Day. So wear red from head to toe. Now let's check out this week's juicy stories from around the high school and a segment of RCZ. What is RCZ? Let's find out. Hey, I heard there's a lot of people leaving campus for lunch. How are they getting away with that? I do not know. Or do I? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, hey, but seriously, but seriously, seriously, I hear we got some secret footage of him taking donut bride. <laughs> roll it, roll it, roll it. Excuse me, fellers. Are y'all trying to leave school? Nah, we're not trying to leave school. Hey, you want a bag of donuts? Them were some good boys, and man, these are some good donuts. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Whoa, 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 did you guys hear? We got a new edition of Live Witness News. We really scared the bejeebers out. <laughs> <laughs> So I assume that you've heard about the recent divorce announced earlier today by Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. So how do you feel about that? I mean, I feel like they were just together for money anyways. Bye, Felicia! What do you think is going to happen to the children? That's a really sad stomp. All around me are familiar faces. I, I'm speechless. Like, what am I... Who am I supposed to look up to now? Like, they're goals. I'm heartbroken. Like, you know I'm not happy. You know I'm trying. How do you feel about recent reports saying earlier this morning that Melina Trump... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Does he just say Maluka Trump? Everyone knows it's Melanie Trump. <laughs> <laughs> morning that Melina Trump and Bill Clinton have had an affair in the past. I had no idea that was even happening. Well, what do you think about it? Oh, that sucks. That's... Wrong. Don't cheat. So, how do you feel about Justin Bieber announcing earlier this morning that he is going to take a pause in his music career and look into the industry of pastry? Broke my heart. I was just so upset. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, you just can't get in. Mr. Mickey, very important question real quick. How do you feel about Bernie Sanders being asked to be the new face of KFC? Well, I actually am more of a Popeyes kind of guy. That's crazy. What do you mean? Yeah, they've asked him to be the new face. Mm, what you say? Uh, so, what do you think about the illegalization of ranch, and what are the Crime Stoppers at here at Rose City High School going to do to stop it? It is not illegal. That would be the saddest day of my life if you made ranch illegal. Hey Kyle, riddle me this. What's black, white, and red all over? Not that old-fashioned newspaper. We're going digital. 
with the all-new online newspaper for Roy City High School. Our very own Jenna Patterson and Lindsay Miller have the story. Let's check it out. This year, Roy City offers an online newspaper called the Bulldog Bite. We asked Hannah Grisham to tell us a little bit more about the newspaper. We wanted somewhere where the students of the high school and honestly the entire community can come together and look at what's happening and have a space to just talk on and read and express themselves. The Bulldog Bites will be posting a news story every Friday. Our biggest story is going to be on the new stadium and then we have smaller stories on the band and the ping pong. Um, we're planning on featuring RCTV on our page in the section, like the video section and we will have some videos with the scores and things just keep you up with the sports scores. To find out more information go to bulldogbite.org. Before we sign out, we have a raffle giveaway for two lucky winners to the Elisa Kara Show in Dallas next Friday. In order to win, stop by E122 to fill out a raffle ticket, which will only be a dollar, and the winner will be announced next week. And always, check out the previous episodes of RCTV on our YouTube channel at RCTV Teen News. This has been Kyle Johnson and Noah Welch signing, signing out. out.